Good day, Dino friends. Today I got scammed. So I found this game in Roblox that is called Dino Run. Now, if you do not know Dino Run, it is this game in Google Chrome. If you don't have internet, you get this dinosaur game where you have to jump over cacti and pteranodons and you play as a little T-Rex. And I thought someone actually made it in Roblox. But if you click play, here's what happens. It's literally the default game. So if you do not know this game, okay, I'm going to try to talk and uh, run at the same time. So if you do not know this game, this is a free game that Roblox gives you to make your own game out of. And this version is actually unedited. So this is literally a default template free game that everyone has, that everyone can make. And it doesn't look like Dino Run. The only thing that makes it look a little bit like Dino Run is the fact that I'm a dinosaur in Roblox, but that's just coincidence. Look at how many people are actually playing this game. It's literally the free Roblox game. Everyone has this game. Why are you guys playing this? Like, you could easily change this game to be more like the dinosaur game. You'd have to make it white and gray. You would have to make, like, the T-Rex and the cat. This one has zombies. This one has zombies. Come on. Okay, co come with come with me to Roblox. Okay, so if you go to Roblox, all you have to do if you want that game that we just played, all you have to do is go to create, create new game, and here you have all the free games that you can make. It is this one. Look, it's exactly this one. It's a free game, just like this one. It's like taking any of these and just uploading them to Roblox. It's not the dino game. So if you go to Roblox Studio and you click on new at the top, you have all these free games that you can make. So if we go to Line Runner, you click on it, it loads up. It doesn't take very long because it's a very simple free game and you're supposed to change it. You're not supposed to just put it on Roblox like this. You could have at least changed it a little bit. Okay, so my goal today is to actually make this game look like the dino run game from Google Chrome. So first things first, I would just change the sky it's a very simple way you just go to models white white sky boom that took me two sec that took me two seconds and my game is already better than the other one that we just played okay so now when you play at least in the back it's white so then you would have to make all the blocks white, uh, which is pretty easy as well. You can make things gray. You can make yourself a dinosaur. That's a bit tricky, but I know how to do it. Okay, so here's actually another game of someone else. Google Chrome Dino Run. This one actually looks cool. Like you see the T-Rex, it's a bit blurry, but the T-Rex jumping over the cacti. So that looks really cool in 3D. So I hope the game is good, but it has two dislikes and no likes. Ah, oh, it's the same game. No, wait. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 this person has actually put some effort. This person has actually put some effort. Look, they made us look not like a dinosaur, but like a dino fan. We're a player with uh, dino clothes. Oh, they actually added nighttime. I don't know why, but they added nighttime. Uh, let's see what levels they added. Oh, oh, they actually put Pteranodon models. Oh, they're skeletons. Cacti. Okay, okay, okay. So what you need to do when you make this game that I figured out because I was working on it just a little bit. Um, you need to... Oh, God. Oh, oh, that was impossible. That's not fair. That's not... That was impossible. Okay, anyway, I see what you're going for with this one. Uh, this person already put in so much more effort than the other one. Okay, so I thought about it. And one thing that you can do... Uh, instead of making things white, even better is if you make things invisible. Okay, let's take this level. It's really flat. And so you need to take all the blocks, not the red ones and not the coins or the mines. You should just make them invisible. So if that's invisible, then you see the white background. Okay, let's see if that works. That level doesn't always appear. I'll just delete all the other levels. I'm sorry, but I just want to test this. Okay, let's see. Yep, okay, so that works. Now we have a nice white background and it's starting to look a lot more uh, 2D. It's not 2D, it's never going to be 2D, but we're going to try to make it look like it's two-dimensional. So if you want to also edit the starting part, which actually keeps reappearing, uh, you need to take it out of the file. It is somewhere in starter player or... Oh, it's in replicated storage start module, I think. 
starts. There it is. So now it's invisible because it's in there. But if we just take it back to the workspace, now we can see it. I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm just going to make it invisible. That's all I'm going to do. Yoink. Make sure to put it back in. Put it back in. So now everything should be invisible. Oh, I'm starting to like this. Okay, so now we have a game that just randomly has mines and coins coming out of nowhere. Okay, so now we need to make like the gray background because there's like clouds in the background and stuff like that. Okay. Oh, okay. I think I can do that. I can change this text as well. This text. I don't really like the style of this text. Hang on. Okay. So here's another game. It's literally called Chrome Dinosaur. Maybe this one's going to be good. Maybe this one's going to be good. Oh, okay. 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 So I see what you did there. You kept the starting place because they don't know how to make it not invisible where you take the start out of the start module and you put it in the workspace. So they haven't added it to start, but they have made every other part white. It seems okay. That part is just impossible. But I see what you're doing. You made the blocks white. I think making them invisible is better because then you just have the white background. But I understand why you made them white. Actually, I was going to do that first. And you made the pterodactyls. Those are actually pretty good. They look blocky, pixelated a little bit. Uh, okay, so this you accidentally made your game impossible or maybe no, not on purpose. Your game is actually impossible. Okay, okay. We started different levels. Nope. You made an impossible level. Unless if the pterodactyl... You cannot go through the pterodactyl, can you? Huh? Yo, oh, I jumped on top of the cactus. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Rip. I like this one so far the best. This one has done the best effort to look like the Google Chrome game Dino Run. Because it has m changed the colors to white and gray. So, so far, this one is the top one out of the ones that I've tried. Hello. Okay. Um... I got a little bit carried away. I wasn't recording. I was going to change a few small things and I did a lot of things. I did a few hours. I'm sorry, okay? But if I recorded it, it would have been too much. Anyway, I made a lot of changes. So here is my version so far of the Dino Run. I'm pretty proud of it. It doesn't look like Dino Run so far if you don't click play. But I've made the clouds. They actually, in once you start playing, they actually look pretty good, I think. I actually made the cloud based on what the actual cloud looks like in Dino Run. Um, I've made the Pteranodons look like the ones in the game. Not the Cacti. I just made the Cacti like three stripes. I might make them better and i put a line in the background so this is actually because you run like this right you run this way so you never touch this gray line so it will just be in the background actually let me just stop talking and just show you i actually also changed the text i like this text a lot more this is i don't know what this font is called i forgot i think arcade it is more pixelated it's very pixelated digital text font looks a lot better uh, i changed that i changed um i put the clowns in the background i put this line and these dots in the background that there are supposed to look like sand i think okay so this is what i have so far and i've got to say i think it's quite good i think out of the little time that i've spent on it i think i did a pretty decent job i like the fact that it kind of looks two-dimensional except the character the character looks 3d in a 2d world i think that looks pretty cool but if you want the real dinosaur experience take a look at this so here he is the dino run dinosaur i had to make the eye a little bigger because of the angle made it the eye look different um so i have built this dinosaur and i have made it into a character that you can actually become so i have to take this starter character drag it into starter player Let's just try. Did I put it in the right folder? It works. It works. I'm 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 proud. I'm proud of this. I'm proud of this because I'm a total noob at Roblox Studio. I'm only a starter. So let me take this out of the corner. And wait, I think we can make this full screen. Okay, here we go. Okay, so my face isn't in the way. This is the game that I've made. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, let's click to start. 
Okay, so one thing that I really want to change is the jump height. So I, I couldn't find a way to change the jump height. I found a way to change the jump height, but it doesn't actually work because this game has scripts that set the jump height instead of that setting. So I cannot like override that or however you would say it. So I really need to figure out how to change in that script um, how to do it. Okay. So we're actually getting score. I don't know how to make that appear on the screen other than the default like right here. Uh, but I think that's pretty nice already. I think we've made a lot of progress. And here we go. We have the end statistics. Oh, I can show my face. Okay. Hello. At the end, it also says how many coins you've collected. This is because the default game has coins and I didn't know how to delete them. And I also didn't want to delete them because maybe later we can do something fun with them. Like make the coins into dino bones that you can pick up. Or maybe you just keep them coins. I think I actually made uh, a little gray coin just for testing. Okay, let's just test this one out. See what it looks like. Let's just put a ton of them like here. Oh! Okay, so the coins work, they rotate a little bit as well, which I really like. I changed the rotation so it's more, uh, the original ch ch rotated really fast. I made it rotate a little slower. Uh, but real Dino Run in Google Chrome, of course, does not have coins. So that's why I deleted them. Anyway, yeah, I'm sorry that I changed so much. I forgot to record it. I got kind of carried away. When I'm having fun building something, sometimes I forget to record. So I actually didn't record most of that. But if you really want to know, I could make a guide on how to make this. And also let me know if we should keep making this. I feel like... It's fun to have like a copy of the Dino Run game and I'll probably put it online, put it in my group or something. I hope there's no copyright. Google, please don't fire me. Please don't delete my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm just trying. I'm just a fan of the Dino game. Okay, don't don't delete me, please. Okay, here's another game by the Nerds SCF. Uh, the picture is an exploding computer. But the, the little icon looked like the Google Chrome Dino Run game. So I don't know why the picture here is an exploding computer. Wait, what? Okay, wait. I think, I think, I think we got it. I think we found the best Roblox. This is insane. They even put like the little text, no internet. This looks like we're in Google Chrome in the browser right now. Except for the little icon at the top. It actually looks like it. Look. Oh, I like how it loads up like that. Oh, just a jumping sound. I tried ending the jumping sound, but I didn't know how to do it. I need to figure that out. This is the exact game. The legs move. In mine, the legs don't move. So I've been playing for a while. I'm at score. Getting closer to 1000 right now. Uh, it seems like there is no other levels. There's only two levels. One with the three tall cacti and one with the two small cacti. If you look... Too small, too small, too small, three tall, three tall, three tall, too small. It's it's only those two levels they keep repeating. So I wish they had at least one level with the Terra Nona on. Because it looks like they would be able to make it. Oh, game over. Press space to reset. Oh, we got that close. We got this. We got this close to thousand. Seriously. Okay, anyway, I love this one. The only thing that I don't like about it if i have to do fault finding uh it is the fact that it's so small it only takes up a small it only takes up this part of the screen and when the screen is this big so there's so much white where there's nothing going on so that is what i prefer in the game that i made i actually edit the edited the camera script so you looked cl as close as possible and you can change the angle i like that the dinosaur is a little bit on the left so you can so you have some time to see what's coming uh, and it takes up the entire screen. But other than that, my game is nowhere as good as that one. I don't know how they made that one. That one is really good. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to remove the coins. <laughs> Meme Roblox run. Okay. Are you serious? Oh god, here we go. Okay, there's Peter Griffin. Oh god, there's memes. Oh my, this is amazing. This is... Oh, I love it. I love it. This one is so good. There's so many memes. The spooky didn't read lol guy. Oh god, there's uh, Baldi. There's Peter Griffin again. Snoop Dogg. Oh, oh. Okay. So, 
I have to say, if you were trying to make this game like the Dino Run game, you failed. But it's better. It's better. It is really good. I'm going to favorite this one as well. I'll just put a link to all of them in the description. It has a thumbs down. You know what? I'll give it a thumbs up. We'll make it two to one. <laughs> I love it. That one was really good. I don't really see the connection to the Dino Run game other than that there were some Pteranodons. But I love it. Okay, let's try one more before I stop recording. Okay, let's see. Okay, so you tried to make uh, the ground white. But you didn't make the background. Oh, wait, there's... Tricerat- Oh, you walk over the dinosaur- Oh, this is amazing! Yeah, oh, oh, watch out! Ah, oh, you made the models black- Oh, wait, there's an actual tier- Wait, what? She jumping barrel- Wait, ah! Wait, I cannot go up! I cannot go up! No, the T-Rex! Okay, the T-Rex pushed me off the side. Okay, so I see this game, I understand it. You're trying to make it like running over the back of dinosaurs. I think that is really cool. That's a really cool idea. A really cool twist. Um, I think the person who made this didn't know how to make the background white. Otherwise, they would probably have done it. Um, they added the T-Rex uh, and the ladder that you cannot climb. That's a bad thing. But they added the Pteranodons. They made them black and the cacti. They made them black. And I think you did a really good try. Considering the fact that this was probably made by a kid. Uh, I think you did a really good try. And... All of these games are easily so much better than that one that we played at the start. Because the one that we played at the start was just the default free game. They didn't change anything about it, they just kept it exactly the same. And somehow a lot of people are playing it. I think if I'm going to be honest, that our game right here is probably... Uh, maybe second best, because that one we played, the browser one, that one is probably the best one. But I like mine as well, and also I'm not done. I'm not done, I just, this took me like... Two hours? I don't actually know. I didn't really keep track of time. But uh, I think if I learn some more things, like how to change the jumping, because I need to figure out that script, then I can make it uh, jump better. I need to find a way to make a little jump sound. I want the jump sound. And I will put this game online for you guys to play. I will put the link in the description, just like the, all the other games that I played. But I hope you will at least try my game and see what you think about it. Uh, because, yeah, I think it's pretty cool that I'm finally good enough in Romlux to make something like this. Even though it's not, like, amazing. I'm really, I really like trying to figure out how Roblox Studio works. And one day I hope I will be able to make really good games. But for now, this is going to have to do. And I'm pretty proud of it. So I hope you will play it. If you have any ideas for it, let me know. I thought it would be cool to also make a game that's like this, but with completely different levels. So I would try to keep this one just exactly the same like try to make it a complete copy of the google chrome game but also one where you have like different houses that you can go into maybe even levels based on jurassic park that would be pretty cool that you play as the characters from jurassic park and you have to jump through lockwood manor through jurassic park through Isla Sorna and every all the different scenes from the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movies. You have to like jump through them in a platform. I think that would be pretty cool. But before I can make that game, I still have a lot to learn. And this was a lot of work. So I would really appreciate it if you guys would let me know if you like it or not. And what I can change. And I hope you'll try it out. I think I asked that like three times. So try it out. Try it out. Try it out. Okay. Thank you for watching, don't forget to stomp, like, a dinosaur. Stomp, 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 stomp.